Hi, I'm Karen McBride. Welcome to another one of my free art lessons. And today I would like to show you a fearless way to color mix because I found a lot of people really don't know where to start when they begin color mixing. And most people have learned in school the basics. Um, yellow, red makes orange and that sort of thing, but they don't really know where to take it beyond that. And I have made a chart here and I'm just going to mix some of these with my finger and I, I, I would encourage you at home to put out some maybe some neutral colors and maybe some of your favorite colors and really the only way to get completely at home with color mixing is just to, to, just to try, just to um, start mixing colors and see what happens. And so for instance I just mixed raw sienna with a cobalt blue and this is the color it comes up with. And when I'm at home, I'll make little charts like this. And I'll mix all kinds of colors together. And then I keep them. And I can always refer back to them. And you really never know until you just dive in and try to see what, what's going to happen if you do what and what. And so I also label the colors so that when I go back, I can know exactly what I was doing and you know you know if I'm in the middle of a painting and I want to see I, I, I'm looking for a certain color I can go back to my chart and I can see exactly what I did and so I'm mixing raw sienna with a cobalt blue a purple a red and now I'm going to use a sap green and this was a turquoise I'm just doing it with my finger I don't need to get a brush messy just wipe my finger off each time and now I'm going to see what happens if I put this same blue with a burnt sienna and what colors you can get. And you really can get some beautiful rich colors that you wouldn't imagine. And you can make as many charts as you would like with all the colors that you can think of and then just keep them around and they're actually kind of pretty just to look at. Just keep them around your studio. You can refer to them often. and. Uh, And you can see all the different variations just uh, with some of these neutral colors that I've used. Now this is going to be a warm gray and I'm going to mix it with the same colors. And you see how different it can be. But I, I probably wouldn't have been able to imagine some of this. I just had to go in and do it and see what happens. So a lot of people wait to try and color mix when they're right in the middle of a painting. And then they get frozen. They don't know where to, uh, whether to put that color in or not and what's going to happen if I put that color in to my painting, is it going to get ruined? And then they stop and they quit painting or they, don't, or they feel like they can't, can't paint. So anyway, as you can see, look at these beautiful rich colors. I'm, and I'm just using basic raw sienna, burnt sienna. Here's sort of a warm gray. This is a warm taupe. And I've just picked some of, you know, some of my favorite colors and uh, you can see how different it is. It's kind of fun to get your fingers messy and just dive in and feel the paint. Also, I would recommend that you do this with different brands too because every brand is going to have a slightly different cobalt blue or a slightly different alizarin crimson. And so if you're really picky, you might want to um, do one for every different color, color line you use. So you can see it's really not that hard to do color mixing and you just need to dive in and just do it. And it can be fun. Just think of it as an adventure. Look at all those beautiful colors. So I hope that takes some of the fear out of the idea of color mixing and I uh, want to thank you for watching my free art lesson and if you would like to know more you can go to www.kirinfineart.com